Hey everyone, um, it's me, Belinda. Um, I just came back from the Circus Carol uh, show and it was amazing. So, um, uh, A Circus Carol is the show that uh, Wanderlust Circus presented and uh, starred in along with uh, Three Lake Torso, which was the band and they did all the music and it was so much fun. I can't wait to tell you all about it. So first of all, the band, oh my gosh, I love them. They were so great. Like their covers were like just fantastic. I love them. Every single one of them. It was so amazing. Like <laughs> I listen to um, Christmas music a lot around Christmas time and so I hear like the same covers over and over again and they get kind of boring. But this was like so different and just fascinatingly awesome. So I really enjoyed the music. Um, the Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge, he was hilarious. He kind of looked like a dingy old kind of Abraham Lincoln. It was so funny, but I loved it. It was great. And, um, what else? Oh, uh, Bob Cratchit, he juggled, and he's a really good juggler. I really enjoyed that. And he can do, like, hat manipulation. Oh, I love that stuff. It's so awesome. If you haven't seen it before, you should definitely uh, YouTube hat manipulation. It's super fun. And then, oh, when Scrooge sang, uh, when Scrooge sang Silver Bells, it was hilarious. I loved it. It was really, uh, like, he sounded really irritated and just didn't care about Christmas at all, which of course he doesn't. But I mean, like, the way he sang the song is, it was, uh, really good. It told, like, a story. Um, the way they incorporated, the show incorporated all of these different songs, um, really helped to tell the story, even though they're, you know, super old songs that everybody does a cover of. It helped. Um, bring the story to life more, and I just thought that was awesome. That's kind of why I like the music so much. Uh, and just the whole show was so funny. Like, there were one-liners and wisecracks all over the place, and I love that sort of thing. It was very uh, fun that way. The first spirit, she can really sing. Uh, she sang... Oh, oh, shoot. No. Okay, so first, sorry. Uh, so first, Jacob Marley, because he shows up first. Uh, Jacob Marley, he's a beautiful singer, apparently. Like, he sings very operatically. And it was beautiful. I couldn't help but laugh, because he looked like a zombie. He was like this operatic singing zombie. And it was just hilarious, but it was, like, just amazing at the same time, with, like, the chains and, you know, the gaunt face and tattered suit. It was great. It was so much fun. Okay, and now now the first spirit. Okay, so the first spirit, she sang very, very well as, as well, and she did like some aerial hoop incorporated into her piece. It was quite nerve-wracking just as an um, as an audience member, but as a kind of, sort of, aerial dancer. Like, I mean, I've been taking classes for a few years, so I, I know a thing or two, and I would be lying if I didn't say I was kind of, like, clenching my teeth the whole time. It's not her fault. She's she's a beautiful singer. She obviously had uh, practiced singing more than aerial dance, which, you know, it's, it's not like uh, it affected her, per well, I mean, it affected her performance, but, I mean, it didn't affect her singing voice. Like, she still sang through it, and... She still sang wonderfully. It was just the aerial dancing. A bit scary, and not in the good way, but she still, like, that can't be easy. Just singing and trying to do aerial at the same time, it can't be easy. So I got to give her credit where credit is due. She she has some guts doing that. <laughs> but she, she was a wonderful singer, and she looked gorgeous. She was great. And then... Um, the young Scrooge and Jacob Marley, you know, because she's the, goes to Christmas Pass and they go to see, um, the young Jacob Marley and Ebenezer Scrooge. And that was cute. Oh my gosh. Like, uh, the young Scrooge did, like, um, 
cane twirling and they swung danced and then there was a piece with young Scrooge and this girl and they sang Baby It's Cold Outside and that was really cute and sweet and nice. And then then it went to intermission and then uh when the show started back up again I noticed I that was when I started to notice that the band can play a lot of different instruments. Like they had drums and xylophones and a cello and I think a viola, I think like a clarinet or an oboe or something. I don't know. They can play a lot of different instruments. So they're really talented for that one. And then the second the second spirit made me laugh the most. He was hilarious. I don't want to spoil anything, but he's he, you just gotta see the show. He's so funny. Not just for him. I mean, there's like a ton of others. But personally, I think the second spirit was like my favorite part. He was, he was just hilarious. Oh, and his, so he, he was sing, he sang the song. He and uh, he had an, an accordion, and he had like this duel off with <laughs> with one of the band members who had a viola. And he had his accordion, and they were, like, just duking it out with the music. And it was just hilarious. It was so funny, but it was so good. It was it was freaking awesome. It was like, um, uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia with an accordion and a violin. It was, it was so funny. And then, um, so they go into the present where, uh, they go see... Uh, Bob Cratchit's house, uh, and he does some more jungling and stuff, and and it was really good. And he did like this box balancing thing where he had a bunch of boxes and he balanced them all on his chin. And as he was laying down, there was like everybody was like craning their neck, like oh, I can't see. Is he is he still balancing? It was really funny. It was it was really really good, and that was really awesome. And then this third spirit came, and he had, like, this hooded cape, and it was, like, with a bunch of crazy fabrics on it, and it looked really, really cool, and, um, they go see, uh, Scrooge's grave, and he, like, uh, the third spirit threatens him with the chains, and Scrooge is like, no, 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 and then the third spirit takes off his cape, and he does, like, chain manipulation, which was, which was awesome, but the thing that I love the most was after he was done with his chain manipulation, he, like, put it down, and, like, there was these chains that came from the ceiling, and he did aerial chain, and I'd never seen it before, and I loved it. It was great. He was awesome. And that was that was definitely a treat, because uh, not too many people are can do that, and it, it looks painful just, just looking at it. And <laughs> I know that it has to feel, like, a million times worse than it looks like actually doing it so and then you know Scrooge wakes up and he uh he goes to um pays a boy to you know get the goose for Bob Cratchit and he goes to his house says Merry Christmas and money and stuff like that and uh Tiny Tim <laughs> she was really good she was a really great aerial dancer there was like this part between uh you know, Ebenezer Scrooge going to Bob Cratchit's house and talking to them, and then in between his being there and Tiny Tim doing aerial dance, there was, like, this thing going on. I'm not entirely sure what was going on. Maybe missed lines or lines weren't supposed to be read. I don't know. It, it was kind of funny, but I don't know what was going on. But anyways, so then um, Tiny Tim, you know, he can walk. So he can do aerial dance now, which was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was really, really awesome. And that basically kind of ended the show. And it was just a ton of fun. The music was great. The actors were great. The talent was amazing. You know, everybody did such a good job. And the makeup, I don't know who did the makeup, but it was awesome. Like, everybody looked really dirty or they looked really dead. and you know, it it just looked really good, and I highly recommend it. You should definitely buy your ticket for tomorrow night. You can still get tickets. I'll post a link down below of the Alberta Roast Theater 
website where you can purchase the tickets and you should definitely be, be there. And the next time I do a review, it will be for the White Album Christmas. So I'm super excited for that. And I will see you all then. I gotta go to bed and do some studying because I have finals week next week. Yay! So I will see you all. Oh, what day is that on? That is. Oh! I don't think it has the date on there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I believe I'm going to the 21st show. It's. The White Album Christmas. It's December 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I believe I'm going the 21st. So, there will be a new video then. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.